Hey, this is Jordan from Avid at NAB 2019. I'm here with Avid Solution Specialist Michael Krulik to show you guys a little of the new Media Composer. Absolutely. So we have a great new design here. We've reimagined Media Composer and introducing Media Composer 2019, available at the end of May. What we've done is taken the whole look of Media Composer and sort of given it a facelift. It's more modern, uh, really nice, but more importantly, we haven't changed the way seasoned Media Composer editors work. So um, you'll see here that we have a complete paneled UI. So your bins, your layouts, everything is locked so you're not uh, having bins and windows on top of one another. If you want to, you can go in and actually float your bins so we can pull this out. So if you do want to have a total uh, window design with your bins on top of one another or redesigned, you design it the way you want, which is great. You'll also see that we have uh, workspaces on the right side here. These workspaces are just more easily accessible for editing, color, effects, and audio. Uh, traditionally, if you go to your Windows workspaces, you'd pull it down here. But again, for the new user, you don't have to hunt for these workspaces. They're right here. We also took real estate uh, of the UI into consideration, where I can go in and hide or close up the UI here to give myself more real estate and all the workspaces are available in a little pull down menu up in the upper right hand corner. Plus we can go in and show that panel again, again totally designed by you. Now uh, being able to look at the layout is really important in how you design things. So if I want to bring in something like the audio tool, the audio tool can be brought in as a separate panel here. We can go in and pull that out and move that anywhere in the window. Again, that can be floating, or we can take it and dock it. What you're seeing as you move is the green region is dictating where I can drop any of my tools or windows. So if I want the audio tool to go to the right side here, I let it go, and I've just designed that into that UI. Plus, we want to go in and take a look at the new bin container. You may notice that the project window isn't there anymore. If I look at tools, I can bring up the project window, but we found that people, when they were closing bins, inadvertently closed the project window and it closed their project completely. They'd have to open it back up again. So we were asked to basically uh, hide that. And now, all of your settings are in the settings selection under file. You'll see that format is there. You have project, user, and site settings. Now in single tabbed windows, so you're not having to hunt through a whole list to look for your setting that you want to change. So again, a nice new design. I also want to point out the, uh, the view of the uh, smart tool. The smart tool has basically been, uh, I wouldn't say removed, but it has been moved to a different area. We wanted to give you more real estate here to have for your timeline, and the smart tools have been combined into the upper area here where I can right click and choose what smart tool I want to have active. This is customizable as well and can be mapped to your keys. And more importantly, the weightlifter is back. You'll see the weightlifter and scissors from earlier versions of Media Composer. We brought them back. A lot of users loved it. So now you can lift and cut and extract and ripple your timeline as you design it. So Michael, you're mentioning some things that are from old, feature, old features that were brought back. You're mentioning some new designs. What was kind of the thinking behind this, uh, this reimagining of Media Composer? Well, that's a great question because with so many editors that have been using Media Composer and so many new editors coming in, we had to create a balance, a balance that didn't disturb how current Media Composer editors worked, but also invite in the new talent, letting people look at this and go, oh my god, that looks easy and gives me some nice control as I uh, start working and building my sequences. So besides that and being able to go in and uh, create and look at what you're doing, uh, I want to go in and show, did I show the bin map? I forgot what I showed. <laughs> we'll, look, we'll look at the uh, bin container here. The bin container is your list of bins on the side. The bin list can be closed, again, if you want to clean that up. And you do have your different views. You have text view, frame view, and script view. The nice thing about uh, frame view is a lot of times your bin is larger than the view that you see right here. So rather than having to go in and scroll around your bin, if I right click, I can enable the bin map. And the bin map is just a little landscape here which lets me navigate just like a video game or, or a map. And I can go in and actually see the dark area is the size of my actual canvas and the light area is what I'm viewing. So again, some nice control. We can go ahead and hide that. We have the uh, selections up here that will condense into a single button if I modify it. And the little slider here lets me change the size of my frame view 
again, uh, that used to be a keystroke to do it, but now it's built into the UI to make it a lot nicer. Now besides all of the different uh, tools here that uh, give me a different refreshed look, we talked about finishing and delivery. So we can work natively with OP1A Media with uh, Media Composer 2019. We can also work full 32-bit float for a full color pipeline where ACE is compatible and I can export an IMF package directly from Media Composer 2019. So full deliverables working from uh, editing, from finishing and delivery all in one package. And why is that so important to, uh, to some of the Media Composer users? It's so important so you don't have to go in and, and round trip. Everything can be done here. I mean, if you do have to do any other uh, finishing or have any other deliver deliverables, you can round trip to other packages. But the idea is a lot of people don't want to leave Media Composer. They want to do it all in one. How have the reactions been? You've been doing some presentations up here. I know you've probably done demos with customers. Uh, how are people taking it? They're actually taking really well. They're, they're uh, really happy to see that there has been a change, that we are, number one, listening to the customers, because a lot of this was brought in from the uh, ACA, the Avid Customer Association vote. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, they, they want it to evolve. They do want Media Composer to be part of the new talent coming in. You know, people have options for what tool they want to use. We definitely want to let them know that, that Media Composer is evolving. And as a long-time Media Composer user, what is your favorite new feature? I guess my favorite new feature is the bin map. I mean, sort of, you know, playing games and stuff and, and knowing how, you know, I'm used to, again, scrolling around, but it's, it's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> It's a really great function to be added to the, uh, to the bins. Well, great to hear. Thank you so much for showing us around. I know you've been doing main stage presentations to show this off to everybody here at NAB. So if you haven't gotten over to the Avid booth yet, you need to get here. Come see the new media composer. Come see Michael Krulik, South Upper Hall, booth 801. This is Jordan from Avid at NAB 2019.